And now all we need to do is pick up Madoka right now so we can actually begin our beginner's account. Who is very, very good for PvE content. And just like that, we're going to pick up Madoka right now. Yo, what's going on gamers? Welcome back to another Artery Gear Fusion video. Today, I have a surprise to show you all. I actually ended up getting 200, just like I said before in previous videos. I had enough to actually pick up Phantom. So we're going to pick up Phantom right now. I'm really, really stoked about this because Phantom is a really, really good unit. This is like the same one as um, Benny, right? Pretty cool. I, I love Phantom's design. Probably one of my favorites. I just like the black and the purple color scheme. It looks really nice and like the glowing effect added to it is really, really good. And the reason why I picked up Phantom for my account, if you all didn't know, um, first of all, she's a unit I'm missing and she's one of the more rare units, one of the hardest units to get in the game. If you did not know, she does not appear on the normal banners. You can only really get her through the regular recruitment or you have to heads buy her from the shop just like I did. But she actually provides a speed, like speed imprint, speed boost to the team. So this is really nice for PvP players. So if you're definitely playing an arena offense cleave playstyle, I suggest you pick up this unit because she will change your account. But this is not the what I really want to get into in this video. We'll be actually starting a beginner's grind. So I'm going to, because we actually had the new collab and it started to, well, literally today, um, all the new units, the Madoka Magica, the broken unit right here, as I showed in the other videos, and Sayaka actually was another unit we got. So I'm going to make a new account. We're going to pick up all these units. We're just going to play through beginners just like you would when you start any new account. The goal is to see if you could actually pick up an account and start because we had the Ryza, Atelier Ryza um, collab before, if you guys remember, right? We had the Atelier Ryza collab and it brought a couple of units. I can actually go ahead and show those right now. It brought units such as Lila, who was actually really broken. I mean, one of the best units in the game, if not the best unit in the game. She one shots bosses. She's very nice for a single target cleave and a very, very nice looking waifu. I mean, who wouldn't want this unit? However, because of this being a collab unit, a lot of new players weren't able to pick her up. And same goes with Ryzalyn, who is also a really good arena defense unit. Very, very good. And then we have Claudia, who is a very good raid unit and also really good against um, a really good arena offense as well, just like uh, Phantom, right? And actually, I would actually use Claudia and Phantom in the same team because one is a opener and the other one is a nice defense breaker which is a really, really good combination. So I'm gonna put this in AFK farm right now and let's begin our beginner's grind. I'm really, really excited to get into this. Okay, so I have this account that I've actually had for a couple of days now. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this account. It doesn't have any five stars, so it's it's good enough to be, to be a beginner's account. We have Alice, one of the best units in the game. Very, very good for your beginner accounts. We have Morris, a really nice healer. Very, very good. Does she cleanse? I think she cleanses. Yes, she removes all debuffs and heals all allies. Very good unit for that. Three star Neo. Very, very good. Defense down and very good. She, um, she gives herself a shield. She also gives a team wide attack buff. So very good in that regard. And now all we need to do is pick up Madoka right now so we can actually begin our beginner's account. Who is very, very good for PvE content. And just like that, we're going to pick up Madoka right now. Oh, you, you don't believe me? Watch. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Not Sayaka. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Oh, no, dude. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How, what is Sayaka? Okay, I actually do not know anything about Sayaka. Let's take a look. Let's see what she does. Okay, so she hits single target. Own HP. Okay. So you want to build HP on her. She seems like a bruiser. You gain energy, so she's an energy unit. Okay. Any Okay, so gain 5 energy storage and raise own move bar for 3%. After any other character casts a skill... Okay, interesting. Remove one debuff self. If own HP is more than half total, 
gain crit damage boost, defense boost of HP is lower than half of the total. Gain constant recovery and defense boost. Also, okay, this is a very overloaded passive, but you 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 can do this when you get a hundred energy, so it makes sense. Right, she's an energy based unit. Attacks all enemies deal damage equal to own HP. Pierce fifteen percent of target's defense. Gain status resistance boost for two turns. Okay. So this seems like she's going to be a very, very good unit for bruiser compositions. She gains a defense boost. She recovers HP. She gains a crit damage boost. She gains a status resistance boost. And she, you build her an HP. So this is going to be a very good unit for our bruiser composition and very good for PvE. So actually, more or less, I'm happy about picking her up. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with this account. We pretty much cover bases for all the elements in the game. We have the thunder, you know, ice, lightning, or water, whatever you want to call it in this game. We have Morris, who is going to be our fire character. So we cover that basis as well. And then we're actually going to go ahead and pick up a certain unit from our recruitment. So if you did not know, beginner players get this free recruitment. So we're actually going to go ahead and use it right now. I don't see why not. A lot of people would say, oh, you should save it before, you know, before, you know, or after for after the collab, right? You save after the collab because you might get a, you know, you might get the units that you are in the pool for this later on. But I'm just going to go ahead and pick the unit up right now. We're going to continue recruiting. No, definitely not the green unit I was looking for. She'd be a very good pickup, okay? Uh, Gengo would be a very, very good pickup. I'm not going to lie. That's very enticing. Since we don't have access to Lila, Gengo is very enticing. Very, very enticing. Hmm. I'm really thinking about it really hard right now. And there's Verbena as well. Verbena is also really good. Hmm. Verbena and Ginga. You know, we're going to go ahead. We're going to you save us time. We're going to go ahead and select this one right now. Um, Ginga is a very good unit. Still very good. Very nice PVE. She has a one shot in her in her kit. Very good for Centaurs. What we will do, be doing in the future. So we're definitely just going to pick her up. Um, I have no regrets with that. We're going to save the rest of our pools. We'll probably do some pools later on in this first episode of the Beginner's Grade. But so far, our account is looking really good. We got two really solid units. We got Morris for the healing. We got Alice for the, uh, you know, attack buff and the CR boost, the credit combat readiness, Epic 7, you play that. Uh, Summoner's War, your, your, your attack bar boost, right? Very good for that. And then we also have Verbena, which is also another good, you know, defense breaking unit. So we can actually use Ginga, Verbena, Sayaka, and Alice all in the same Centaur team, and it could work, possibly. Uh, we probably need more debuffs, well, no, we have good debuffs with Alice and Verbena. So, yeah, pretty much already have our Centaur team done on day one. Really, really stoked about that. And everybody knows the most important thing you have you have to just change the character that's going to be on the screen of your account, right? It's very, very important. Very, very important. Okay, so we're gonna pick up Shinobu here. We probably will not be using this unit. Um, she's definitely not going to be better than anything we have on the account. And I want this account to be as efficient as as efficient as possible. So we're actually just going to not even use Shinobu. Um, some people would even go as far as to say you should definitely just feed her. For some coins in the shop i'm not going to do that because maybe you know she'll have like an exclusive equipment in the future and then she'll be good then and, and, and a unit a new unit is a new unit right there's no reason to feed him so we're not going to feed her okay and i feel like i'm missing something here Oh, your friend. All right, let's go ahead and actually go and start the story. 
I think it is really important though that we do start a story so we can start clearing out the rookie training because that's where you'll get most of your early game gear. It's really good. At the end of the um, rookie training, you actually get a six star attack set, which is really nice. So we really want to pick that up as soon as possible. Okay, for our PVE team, we'll be using Sayaka. We'll use Ginga. We'll have uh, blue here for the um, elements, and then we'll actually go ahead and throw in. Mm. We just need to cover our bases here. Corrosion. Mm. We'll bring Valeria because she has some AoE in her kit. But we just want to get through this as fast as possible. We do not even need to worry about putting gear on the units. We just need to get this done. So we don't have auto yet. So we're just going to go ahead and progress through this manually like you would do. Right? Do that there. One of those. We'll do one of these here. Yeah, I am looking forward to how far we can actually get with this account. Um, we've already pretty much had a great start, so I'm really happy about that. Definitely really, really good. I mean, I'm sure she'll be great for Centaur in the future. I gotta say, though, the, her end game, like, her model looks kind of weird. <laughs> this is her S3 animation. I haven't seen it yet. Um, okay. Now, I understand that they're all, like, they're all easy mobs, right? But uh, that's a pretty cool animation. I like it. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to clear all the story so we get to the end of it. So pretty much um, from 1.1 to 1.9. And then I will get back to you guys after it's all completed. Okay, I nearly zoned out because I was letting it play in auto. But we finally finished 110. So we're actually going to go ahead and claim the rewards here. Very juicy rewards. Oh my god. I, I miss like because I, I, I've been playing Arter Gear for a while since launch honestly the beginner players have so much like this just they just throw so many resources at you i really miss this because now end game players yeah, we, <laughs> we'd be happy if we get one recruitment like ticket a week right like you know what i mean if you if you're in game right, we're gonna go ahead and claim all of this here lots of decent gear we'll actually put the hp set on our morris and then we'll put the attack set on our uh ginga right now actually let's do that three ginga we'll give her the attack set um so the best the thing is with artery gear oh let's actually put that on sayaka that's better on sayaka because she has hp we'll put that there okay so that's what i was saying the thing is about artery gear fusion you do not want to use any of your do not upgrade the gear you do not have to upgrade it you'll be fine for the most part as you play the game um you only want to upgrade your six star gear do not upgrade these pieces you will be wasting gear chips do not upgrade I have to really express that, right? Because when you get to end game, you'll have they'll give you very little gear chip upgrade materials. Do not use your gear chips early. Do not use them at all. You're fine. You'll be able to progress through the story. Honestly, you might have to put a couple levels into it, but don't go overly aggressive, right? Um, I would say only upgrade the so when you get five star gear, you can upgrade the five star gear. Do not upgrade your chest piece all the way, right? Because it's not important. You only want to upgrade the chest piece when you get the stats for it, right? So do not upgrade your chest piece to 15. Do not upgrade this piece to 15. You can upgrade this piece uh, to 15. That's fine. You get the attack. It's good for your DPS units. But yeah, these two do not upgrade. And then for the speed one, don't upgrade the, to 15 either. You can upgrade it to 6 to get the stats for it. And then these two, like these two, you don't have, just don't upgrade it. Only upgrade the 6 star gear you get to 15. That's the most efficient gear they'll give you. And you get that all the way. Oops out there you get that all the way at the end so you get this like at the end it, it doesn't show here it will show when you get to the last uh stage five and you'll get the six star gear there so yeah you only want to upgrade that gear to max level but with that being said we're gonna go ahead and put the gear on morris now and she'll have the healer set it's very important because she actually i think she heals based on her own hp i could be wrong though it might be based on the max hp of the team Let's check one more time because I actually have not used her in my main account because I have better healers. Okay, so max HP of the allies. Okay, so max HP. Yeah, so she just heals max HP of the allies. So it's not based on her own HP. So you really don't have to do too, too much with the character. Her design looks kind of questionable. I am a fan of uh, cat girls. I should not be saying that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the beginner's run. We're going to be continuing the story. Um, 
the thing is with artery gear fusion you can actually go as far as you want into the game early they, they really don't hold you back they give you lots of energy you can take your account to the moon if you wanted but yeah uh misconception sayaka is definitely great she's gonna be good for your centaur team is good for your pve team is good for your we'll make a de dedicated video for the unit when we do upgrade and everything but yeah this concludes the episode of beginner's grand day one um i'm going to slow down the progress so i don't want to do this offline i actually want to do majority on camera but yeah anyways i hope you guys got something out of this hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next episode peace